In this video, I will be demonstrating how to set up a watch list. Watch lists allow you to quickly be alerted about data in Enterprise One that is critical to your business. Watch lists are built off of advanced queries and provide alerts at two levels, warning alerts and critical alerts. The first thing we will look at is the query manager. Once I show you the query I am using, we will use the watch list manager to connect the query to the watch list criteria. As part of this, we will set the thresholds for the warning and critical alerts. Let's go into Enterprise One and take a look at how to create a watch list using an existing query. To begin, I will access the customer service inquiry from my favorites. Since all watch lists are built on queries, I will open the query manager and explain to you the query that I built previously. When I open the query manager, I will inquire to see a list of existing queries. Let's look at the one named customer 4242540next today. When I look at the selection criteria, I can see that the query is set up to find SO order lines for customer 4242 with a next status of 540 for today. Let's say this is a special customer and we need to make sure that we know when orders are entered so that priority attention can be given to them. If I just use the query, I would have to come into this program throughout the day and run the query to see what is going on. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to go to one place to review a list of queries that identify what you need to work on? Let's close the query manager. <clears throat> Click on the flag icon to open up the watch list manager. As you can see, the screen looks similar to the query manager. Here we will name our watch list, give it a description, set the warning and critical thresholds, and most importantly, connect the query that the watch list will use. I like to begin by connecting the query to be used. Click on the drop down arrow the query to be used field there you will see a list of the available queries when you select the query you want to use the selection criteria for that query is populated at the bottom of the watch list window the query is run and the grid is populated now i will give the watch list a description Then I will save the watch list, giving it the same or similar name as the query. This naming convention is not a requirement. It is just my method for naming the watch list. It can be named whatever you would like. The name can be up to 50 characters. Finally, I will set the warning and critical thresholds. Let's set warning to five and critical to 10. I will show you what this does for us later. Click on the save icon to record those changes. Now let's close the watch list manager and customer service inquiry. So when I'm on the main Enterprise One screen or with any of, within any program, I can click on this watch list icon, this flag right here. This will show me all of my personal watch lists and any shared watch lists. As you can see under the personal section, there is the watch list that I just created. Since we set the th warning threshold to five and there were five detail lines, it shows in the list in black. It also shows the number of records in parentheses. Now let's go back to the watch list manager and make a change to the thresholds to see what happens. 
we'll go back into customer service inquiry watch list manager find my watch list I'm going to change the warning threshold to three and the critical threshold to five we'll save that change we'll close the watch list manager and we'll close customer service inquiry let's open the list of watch lists and see what we get now when you see the watch list under the personal section it is in red this is because we set the threshold for critical to five click on the watch list and it will open the program and the query will run a user could set up watch lists that relate to their daily, weekly, monthly needs, and then come to this list to determine what they need to work on. That was a quick review of setting up a watch list.